Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to do a few videos today, hopefully. And um, the first one here is like a micro or mini chuck box that I tried to put together with stuff that I already had. I think I only purchased a couple of things specifically for this kit. Um, otherwise, it was all stuff that I already had. Um, I did see only one other video that was as portable as this. Um, a lot of the Chuck Kitchens are made out of wood and are super heavy. They're really cool and fold out in the tables and stuff, but that's not really realistic for um, something that I would like pack out or take with me, depending on how long of a trip it would be. But if they're really heavy, um, it's just not realistic. So um, this is just an Ozark Trail, I think, lunchbox that I had. Um, it's got some wear on it, but it expands, and um, this is basically the same lunch pail that I saw someone else do it with, and it actually works out pretty well. It's got um, pocket mesh pockets on either side. This is just one of those outdoor products, uh, dry sacks, which could just be used for like garbage or something like that. You can never have too many um, sacks or stuff to put stuff in, so trying to disorganize. The other side has some instant coffee, some crystal light, and then um, camp soap, which can be used for dishes. Um, you can use it to wash your hair, your clothes, anything. And it's biodegradable. So uh, This top part can actually expand if you open this, and it actually gets like this tall. In here I just have a one dollar paring knife that I got at Dollar Tree. Um, I have like four or five of these. They're actually pretty sturdy little knives and it fits perfectly. Um, then I have a couple of just like, this one is just disposable and this is like, an, I think this is outdoor products, just a spork and knife with little serrations or spatula or however you want to use it. This I have a little Altoid tin. <clears throat> All I have in it right now is just some matches. Um, just a way to start fire. And then this is the uh, GSI coffee maker drip whatever they call it so it just sets up like this you set it over your cup you put your um, coffee filter in, in your coffer and coffee and slowly pour the water over it and you can have something beside instant out in the field so that all fits nicely up there and you can see this thing is pretty much loaded out, but I could fit a few more things in it. Um, on the front, this little slip pocket. I don't have anything in, but you can put your silverware in there too if you wanted. If we go to the main pouch, you can see it's pretty well loaded out. So the first thing here is just, I went to Dollar Tree and bought the smallest cutting board they had. It had a handle on it, I just cut it off and tried to smooth it out a little bit so it fit on top. Um, back here, I'm not going to take them out, but they're two little grills. Um, what it was, was at Dollar Tree, they're about this big, and you get two of them for a dollar. And I cut them both in half, and then tried to soft the edges so they'd fit better. And they'll sit right in there. Um, here, we just have some silicone collapsible bowls. Um, they're the outdoor products ones. I'm going to try and get another set, but they're like ten bucks, so... I think I'm going to wait a little bit, but there's that. If you guys haven't seen them, they're pretty cool. One's a cup, folds out like this. This one is a bowl, folds out like that. Um, I notice most of the time, whenever you're eating at camp, you don't necessarily need a plate because everything is kind of, it's either um, like a, a pasta dish or something that would easily work in a bowl. Um, so that's why I got those, and then obviously the cup. So you don't have to burn your lips on anything. Just set that there. This is a measuring container. It's got, um, see, it's got cups and ounces. Um, and then inside there I have a bunch of coffee filters. Um, cinnamon and sugar for like your oatmeal. And then salt and pepper. And that's just kind of nice. Got a handle. It can be used as a cup. But um, mostly I got it because it measures and I can keep stuff some, somewhat organized. Okay, the next thing. Try to get 
everything else out of here. Alright, first I'm going to talk about this. So this little pail, again, I'm not going to take it out because it, with the grills in here it fits pretty tight. But this could be used as your sink, or you can put um, either the grill or the um, cutting board, and this could be used more like a table or um, a workstation. So there's that. Set this down now that we got everything out of it. So this is how it fits best in the lunch bail here. So what it is, is this is a um, MSR Seagull. This is the smallest one. Um, the main reason why I included this is because it's perfect for a one person um, setup and also because you can use the lid as a frying pan or some kind of skillet pretty easily. Then um, it just gives you more versatility. This is just one of their um, cups you can get at Walmart. I just drilled some holes in it so you could put a bail in it pretty easily and took the handles off. So that sits like that. And then this is the Stanley cook set, I think. This is the pot with the lid. I modified the lid because it comes with a plastic handle and that obviously is going to melt. Um, I drilled some holes in it again for the bail. <clears throat> and then the lid has an air hole and a strainer. So that's um, pretty nice. This is a Stanley flask. I have some Gorilla Tape on it and it's filled with olive oil. You can use it for, um, you know, if you need olive oil in a dish, but also for your knives. Um, there's just a million uses for it and it works well like that. This, I don't have anything in it, but it's actually a pill organizer <clears throat> that um, I got at Dollar Tree again for a buck. You can get them in a lot of different places for five bucks, um, but it's basically the same thing. Obviously, it's probably a little bit sturdier. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to label each one of these and put some more spices in here so I can um, add a little bit more flavor if I'm just having rice and beans or whatnot. You guys haven't seen these, the Stanley cooker? I don't see the name of it on here. I can't remember what they call it, but um, it's super nice and I think it's perfect size. Um, it sits inside of this cup nicely. This comes um, over like that and it just holds everything nicely together. Um, it's a really good setup and it works for me. So um, that's what I have so far for this truck box. If you guys have any um, questions or if you guys have any suggestions for what would fit well and um, be versatile in this kit, please let me know. Again, I just wanted to do this video because you don't see a whole lot of them on YouTube. Most of the homemade chuck boxes you see are larger and for like a car camp setup. Um, and I just didn't see a whole lot and had this idea and really loved it. So um, everything I had except for three dollars. So I didn't have this. I didn't have the pill thing, and I didn't have the grill or the cutting board. So four dollars total is what I have in this. Everything else I already had. Um, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more videos.